Experimental physicist Raphael Lang from Purdue University is one of many scientists trying to capture and study dark matter. We really know all this dark matter exists. We have no clue what it's made out of, but we know it's there. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find out what is it made out of. It's a huge challenge because we only feel the feeble pull of dark matter's gravity. Its particles pass right through the matter that we are made of. So, it's a bit like trying to catch a fish with your hands. So you can try to catch fish with your hands. And, well, that, that's not going to work. The fish is just too, way too fast and too slippery. You're never going to catch a fish with your hands. So you need different tools. To catch dark matter, Raphael needs something that can interact with it directly. The one thing we do know is that dark matter has mass. The particles we know get their mass from the Higgs boson. If you can interact with the Higgs boson, then you have mass. Higgs boson particles create an invisible force field that fills the universe. We believe everything in our universe gets mass by interacting with this Higgs field. So isn't it natural to think that maybe the dark matter gets its mass also from the Higgs boson? If that's the case, that would be great, because maybe then we can talk to the dark matter through the Higgs boson channel. If dark matter does get its mass from Higgs bosons, Raphael may be able to use them as tools to interact with dark matter. And it would also make his fishing trip a little easier. Maybe the Higgs boson can act as a tool, like a fishing rod, that helps us to catch the dark matter. So on one end, we are, and we talk to the Higgs boson, and the Higgs boson on the other end talks to the dark matter. Through the Wormhole with Morgan Freeman. New episode, Wednesdays at 10, on Science.